Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Bristow, coming to you from right here in, but where else, St. Charles, Missouri. That's right. Hey, today's Tuesday, July the 27th, 2021. Got a shout out going out to my pokey pal, Amanda S. Little. That's right. She's the pokey pal for today. That's the only shout out I got for today. Okay, okay. Well, alrighty then. Hey, I just figured I better get it out there. But it do look like the uh, weather forecast coming up for you. And that weather forecast today is going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. Almost sounds like a mortuary, doesn't it? Yeah, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. That's right. Come on in, y'all. I'm telling you, it's pastored by ordained Pastor John Schumer. Hey, we got an hour of power prayer between uh, 1.30 and 3.30, uh, 1.30 and 2.30, that is, on Wednesdays, except for this Wednesday. It's canceled, so tomorrow don't show up because we won't be there. And then we've got our services on Sundays at 11 a.m. in the morning. So come on in. Enjoy the uh, a congregation. That's right, it's a congregation that is sweeping the nation. A refreshing word, Fellowship Church. Alright, well alrighty then. We got an outreach program going out, you know. Uh, we're not, uh, we tried it this uh, past weekend, uh, well Friday, and uh, it worked out pretty good. Uh, we need some more folks showing up and having fun and enjoying our Special. What we had done was we watched the uh, first episode of The Chosen, and we had popcorn and soda pop and blah blah blah. It was a good time. It certainly was, except for the fact that I ended up bringing home a lot of popcorn. And well, I'm telling you, I don't need to be eating all that popcorn. I'll be getting fat. Mm-mm. It's lots of butter, lots of salt, lots of good stuff for me. Anyway. That's Refreshing Word Fellowship, and here we go with our weather. And here it is. It's 90 degrees out there right now. Blah, 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 blah. It's a nice and warm 90 degrees. Because every now and again, you can get in the shade and get a slight breeze going on, and it feels pretty nice. But not when you're in that direct sunshine. Boy, the humidity is up, and it just pours off of you. Found myself a sweating last night all night long. Well, not all night long, but boy, I tell you, for the first hour and a half to two hours into the night, I was sweating like a squealing pee. Of course, you know pigs don't sweat. But hey, that's one of those things. It's an old uh, cliche, and well, I used it. Anyway, uh, for uh, the remainder of the day, we've got clear skies. Lows around 70 degrees Fahrenheit overnight with winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. You guys didn't know Bill Clinton was going to do the weather forecast for the day, did you? Anyway, hey, now for Wednesday, July the 29th. We've got mainly sunny skies with hot and humid. Highs around 98 degrees Fahrenheit and with winds light and variable. Mostly clear skies overnight with 76 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. Winds are going to be light and variable. That's south to southwest at 5 miles per hour. And then for uh, Thursday, mm, July the 29th, mainly sunny skies, hot and humid. Hot and humid. Let me repeat. Hot and and humid. 99 degree temperature with high winds out of the west. <clears throat> high winds. At winds out of the west in uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour speeds. So that's not all that high, is it? Partly cloudy and uh, early with increasing clouds overnight and a stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. Low temperatures around 74 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Friday, July the 30th, isolated thunderstorms in the morning. And then mainly cloudy late in the afternoon. Highs are going to be around 85 degrees. And winds are going to be east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then chances of rain are going to be 40%. 
Coming around that last link, here comes the partly cloudy skies early with a scattered thunderstorms developing later on at night with low temperatures around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And here it comes, here it comes, some chances of rain, 50%. Look at that, cross the line at 50%. Okay, and then how about Saturday, July the 31st. Scattered thunderstorms with high temperatures around 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable with chances of rain at 50%. Scattered thunderstorms in the evening, mainly cloudy, with late, uh, later on with a few showers. Chances of rain 40%. Low temperatures 66 degrees Fahrenheit and winds north at about 6 miles per hour. And then for our final day of our five-day forecast, Sunday, August the 1st, partly cloudy skies with a spray shower or thunderstorm quite possible. Highs around 84 degrees Fahrenheit and winds will be north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds will be north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. All right. Hey, that does it for the weather forecast for today. And uh, today's weather forecast was brought to you by the official roofer. That's right, Jessica Nicole. Jessica Nicole, the official roofer. From insurance claims to bids, to roof repairs, siding and gutters, downspouts, and she is the one call for it all. Six three six three five eight thirty nine sixty. Get her out there on your roof, boys. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right. Well, alrighty then. That's the official roofer, Jessica Nicole. Jessica Nicole. Jessica. Jessica Nicole. Ha 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 ha. Bo bo All right then. Hey, what's coming up? We got the. Action's going along in, in St. Charles. We got the St. Charles County Fair starting uh, today, July the 27th. Um, well, yep, that's right. Through July the 31st, recurring daily, located at the Rotary Park in Winsville, Missouri, at uh, 2577 West Meyer Road. Uh, See, I always thought Rotary Park in Winsville was located off a uh, off on the off on the service road back there. At the, I mean, not the service road, but seventy nine. Anyway, my mistaken, my faux pas. Anyway, um, it's off of Meyer Road and Winsville six three six eighty five. That's six three six eight five Winsville, Missouri. All right, hey, enjoy carnival rides, foods, and drinks, music and entertainment, children's area exhibits, tractor pulls, and much more. Come on out to the uh, St. Charles County Fair in Winsville, Missouri. Oh, that's why. I always thought it was in Troy. Well, okay, I know where the... No, that one's out there further, even. Yeah, hey, Winsville. All right, then. Hey, you'll find it. You'll find it. I'm sure you will. Hey, let's try a song. Today's song is going to be brought to you by Seasonal Reese by Jamie. Seasonal Reese by Jamie is a collective of uh, door wreaths and or table settings or anything that you would like to decorate your next party and or your next engagement whether it be a wedding or an anniversary, whatever, she can come up with the most beautiful things. She is quite the thrifty and crafty girl. So don't forget to get a hold of Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. That's Jamie O'Driscoll on Facebook, Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. All right, here's our song for today. Well, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. A regular crowd shuffles in. 
There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and chin. He says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not sure really how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet, and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. La, la, dee, dee, la. La, la, dee, 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 da. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. Now John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with the joke or to light up your smoke. But there's some place that he'd rather be. He says, Bill, I believe this is killing me. As a smile ran away from his face. Well, I'm sure that I could be a movie star. If I could only get out of this place. Oh, la, la, dee, dee, da. La, la, dee, 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 da. Now Paul is a real estate novelist. He never had time for a wife. And he's talking with Davy, who's still in the Navy, and probably will be for life. And the waitress is studying politics. As the businessman slowly gets stoned, Yes, they're sharing a drink called loneliness, but there's it's better than drinking alone. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. Well, it's pretty good for a Saturday, and the manager gives me a smile, cause he knows it's me they've been coming to see, to forget about life for a while. And the piano, it sounds like a carnival, and the microphone smells like a beer, and there he sit at the bar and put bread in my jar and say oh, man what are you doing here oh la la dee dee da la la dee 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 da sing us a song you're the piano man sing us a song tonight well, we're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. Well, sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. Hey, there you go. That's the Piano Man by his song by Billy Joel, you know. He's got the rights and reservations for that song, lyrics, and rhythm. So, I don't. And that's my disclaimer. So, that there, I'm trying to trying to uh, outrun the old uh, copyright issue there. You okay? Okay? All right, then. Let's see. What do we got going on? Here's another advertisement because it's just about time for story time. Story time. That's right. And it's going to be brought to you today by Hometown Cafe. Brought to you. The Reading of Thankful Nests by Janie Christopher. That's a children's book, first in a series, hopefully. And anyway, it's going to be Saturday, July the 31st, 2021 at 3.30 p.m. So that'll be next weekend, folks. Just get on down there. I'll tell you what. The Hometown Cafe is located in House Springs, Missouri in Jefferson County. There's going to be a special reading right there this Saturday at uh, 3.30 p.m. for children. There will also be a craft time making and decorating thank you cards for people you are thankful for. 
So get on out to the Hometown Cafe in House Springs, Missouri. All right. All righty. There you go. Thankfulness by Jamie. Christopher. All right. Here we go. And this here is an animal story for the kids. Because, well, it's TV time for Grandpa. That's right, story time with TV Grandpa. Howdy, kids. Glad you're in there watching and enjoying. Love you both. Well, hey, you too, Zoe. I'm I'm a big fan, and I know you're a big fan. And your two cousins, uh, J.R. and Littlefoot. I don't know what his name is. Uh, but, 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 but I'm sure you do. You'll tell them. Tell your grandma. I said, hey. All right, well, all righty then. Anyway, here we go. This is our story, and we're going to stick to it. It's called The Baby Camel and the Mama Camel. Oh, no, The Baby Camel and His Mother. Once upon a time, there lived a baby camel with her mother. One fine day, they were lying on the ground, and the baby camel was deep in her thoughts. When the mother camel asked her what was wrong with her, baby camel did not answer her. Well, the next day, when baby camel could not resist any more, she asked, Why do the camels have humps? The mother camel smiled and said, Well, as we are desert animals, the humps help us to store the water for many days. And because of this, we can survive without water. Well, the baby camel asked, Well, why do camels have long legs and round feet? To this, the mother said, These are meant for walking in the hot desert. Yes, that's right. These long legs and round feet help the camels to walk in the bit desert bitter Better, better than any other animals does. That's right, better than anyone else does because our long legs will not uh, let us sink all the way up in our dunes and our feet are big and flat to keep us on top of the sand surface. Well, the curious baby camel came asking again. And she said, Mother, why do we have such long eyelashes? Some girls would kill for those long eyelashes. But anyway, well, sometimes it bo they bother my sight. Well, the mother camel, with pride, replied, My dear child, these long, thick eyelashes are your protection and cover. That's right, they protect your eyes. They will help us to protect the eyes from the desert sands and winds so that when the winds come up, the sands don't get in your eyes. Well, the baby camel, after thinking, said, Oh, I see. The hump helps us strong a store in the water when we are in the desert. The legs are for walking through the desert, and these eyelashes protect our eyes from the desert. Then what in the world are we doing here in this zoo? This time the mother camels went speechless. Yeah, animals moral story. The abilities, experience, and knowledge and skills are only useful if they are at the right place. Yeah, poor little poor little camel was in the zoo. Had no idea. All that stuff he had wasn't doing him a bit of good. But just because you're out of place doesn't mean you're out of place. Doesn't mean that you're still functional. Doesn't mean that you're still a beautiful creature. And the reason they were at the zoo is so that people from all around the world could enjoy them, especially the city that the zoo was located in. And they were, too. They were enjoyed immensely. All right, here we go. Now we got the daily bread portion of the program. Well, the daily bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 43 through 45 and Acts 27, 27 through 44. 
So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. All right, let's see. Today's uh, daily bread portion of the program's uh, 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 devotion, today's devotion, is the joy God provides. That's right, the joy, 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 which is deep in my heart. God provides it each and every day. And today we're going to find out where it comes from. And we're going to read Proverbs 15, 13 through 15 and 30. Oh, well then, guess I better add that. Okay then, here we go. Proverbs 15 through 13. 13 through 15, that is, backwards. Can't read it backwards. I'm not going to read it backwards. Feast continue, a has heart and cheerful the butt wretched age no 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 we're going to read 13 through 15 a happy heart makes the face cheerful but heartache crushes the spirit the disconcerning heart seeks knowledge but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly all the days of the oppressed are wretched but the cheerful heart has a continual feast and any and the light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones there you have it hey that was the daily bread portion of the program brought to you today by the bible with briscoe 2021 a daily reading in the bible to be completed within one year don't forget to tune into the daily bread, daily read, the Bible with Prisco 21, 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Don't forget, shh, otherwise you won't get your daily reading of the Bible. Alrighty, alrighty then. Hey, looks like I got one more song for you, and that would be like this. Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I said goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Why, this here's Pension Bill Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning into the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.